Now, the ocean and the military, both two very important parts of our Jacksonville community, and one local daddy-daughter duo is combining those two in the form of a t-shirt to support our military and to spread awareness of protecting our ocean. I got the chance to sit down with the two to learn more about their organization, the Admiral's Daughters. Graduated from high school. Before July 4th, I was on a train from Boston Got off in Baltimore, a bus to Annapolis, and by the 4th of July was in the Navy. Vice Admiral James F. Amaro has dozens of stories about his nearly 40 years serving our country. My first ship uh, deployed from its home port in Newport, Rhode Island, to the Vietnamese theater. And so we circumnavigated the globe on that trip. So about nine months. and. It was a wonderful experience. Charleston, South Carolina is where his four kids, the youngest, Lindsay, and three older brothers, spent a lot of time growing up. But she says they also spend a lot of time on the road. Because we were always together, crossing the country, spending two weeks in the car together, as a family unit, we just grew stronger every time. You know, we were beating each other up the whole way, kicking and screaming. <laughs> but. That's why we're so close today. Lindsay and her admiral father also credit their mother and wife, Kathy, for keeping the household strong when their hero was off on deployment. Their mom imbued them with a lot of uh, self-confidence, uh, got them to make sure they did everything they needed to do. When it came to getting in college, all four of them went to the dream schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was amazed at how she you know, kept everything so well. Towards the end of his nearly 40 years in the U.S. Navy, he had several assignments at the Pentagon. On retirement, my wife and I decided we wanted to be by the sea, so we came right down here. We bought this house uh, oh, in about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> They've lived in their Atlantic Beach home ever since, and his primary focus now is this, running the Admiral's Daughters with Lindsay. Everybody knew what you were going through, so everyone was always willing to reach out, lend a hand, give you a break. Having community support growing up is why Lindsay wanted to create a way to remind all of us of the challenges and sacrifices that face our sailors, Coast Guardsmen, Marines, and their families. Lindsay was living in Bermuda, and she's a designer, a graphic designer, and she would blog every month. One day, one of her sketches on the blog caught his eye. Photoshopped that onto one of these type of t-shirts, and boy, I bet that would appeal to sailors, for their girlfriends, for wives, wives, kids, everybody. Lindsay says the soft, colorful, wide variety of shirts in their line are about celebration. Every woman that's getting one of these shirts knows and takes comfort in the fact that they're not alone, whether they're going through deployments, whether they have had something bad happen in their family uh, or in their happiest times when they're victorious or when their brothers, sisters, mothers, sons, whoever it is, comes home from being gone for two years or being at war. The shirts support the military, but they also symbolize so much more. The sea is eternal. It was the bed of life. We all, at some point in the past, really the distant past, emerged from the sea. So it's kind of like you need to protect it, you need to protect that environment. If you love it, if you live here or any other place, you absolutely know what it's like to love the beach, the sea environment. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live. So far, they have sold about 700 shirts. They're in the process right now trying to build their brand. Not only are the shirts adorable, but they also support the Navy Safe Harbor Foundation and the Surf Rider Foundation, supporting military and the ocean. To buy a shirt for yourself or to learn more, you can head to theadmiralsdaughters.com. Uh, make sure you don't go anywhere. We're coming back right after this.